morning, and welcome to yet another day of space adventure. You are only five light years away from your destination, home. The fuel tank is full, and the ship is flying at full speed. Today's to-do list contains waking up, adjusting the engine. What is this? Flying boat? All boats need to pay toll in Mafia Town. Even in space. Mafia come in to collect. Fellow Mafia watch TV last night? Confusing science owls say small people can jump double in air. I saw. This makes Mafia uncomfortable with body. Must go work out. one another. I mean, Mafia Town can be a really dangerous place. So what do you say? Wanna join my little rebellion? Oh, by the way, did you have anything to do with the junk falling from the sky? Yeah? Yikes! Looks like you've got a lot of cleaning up to do, huh? Tell you what, come up here and I can 
let's show you where some of your junk landed. smashed right into the market's fountain. Messed it up real good. When going over there, just avoid making eye contact with the Mafia and you'll be fine. Good luck, fellow rebel. See ya! Say, keep eye out for Tano. Maybe something interesting appear later. Ha! <laughs> Mafia just kidding. Nothing interesting ever happened here. What? Thank <laughs> you. 
Eh? Hey, child, shoo! Mafia can't have child witness when Mafia teaching lesson. Huh? It's awkward for Mafia. Mafia not sure what to do. Boss, what do we do with eyewitness? Teach her lesson, boys! Come to Papa Mafia! Why, you little... Mafia won't bow to little girl. Prepare to feel Mafia's wrath. Do not think about avoiding perils. Heads up, little punk. Stand still. can handle this barrel. <laughs> this lead nowhere. Mafia need to take care of this Mafia style. Prepare to feel what Mafia do to old ladies. <laughs> A bunch of losers. Hey, you're all right, new kid. Do you have a name? No? You shy? That's cool. You're a less talk, more fighting kind of girl, I take it. That thing you grabbed there. Are you collecting them? Because I know where there's more of them. They've been raining from the sky ever since you arrived. I've seen the goons bring them to their headquarters way up there. <gasps> we should go up there and get your junk! It'll be fun! I'll take any opportunity that involves messing up the Mafia! You with me, buddy?
make it through their Mafia HQ. Once we find and dethrone the Mafia boss, the rest will follow. Then our Mershon Jar party will be no problem. We've got to get you geared up. Your hat is basic. And we don't do basic in this gang. Yarn can be found around Mafia Town and used to stitch new hats if you're crafty. I've collected one for you. You need more yarn for some hats than others. I guess being creative isn't free. <laughs> so keep an eye out for yarn. Now you're a killing machine. Let's go get them. take clock tower from distant island. Mafia knew all along! Mafia is being invaded by aliens!
Mafia alone, you monster! Here, if Mafia give you this, will you go away? <laughs> Took your time. Help me out here. Get these brutes off my case, and we can go inside. Good job, kid. dinner up here and swap the food before anybody eats the mafia's cooking. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the mafia prepared food.
it is you. Ever since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with timepieces. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. I haven't seen timepieces for over a hundred years. In any case, this piece belongs to the Mafia. If you want it, we'll have to settle it in true Mafia style. Lights! Action! It is showtime! Supercharged! Anyway, are there some sort of rare collector's item for nerds? Are there some sort of rare co Wait, huh? If you're not 
not going to use them to fight evil. Then I will. I'm not going to let this island remain as Mafia Town. I'll collect all the timepieces for myself. You have my word on it. Movie studio is too big for the both of us, DJ. Grooves. The movie should be made by real birds. You moon penguins are just gonna write some loud, noisy drivel. If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on bird seed, ha! I'd visit my grandchildren. <laughs> nonsense, darling, nonsense. You Owl Express birds are just gonna record another boring train-related western. You've done so for the last ten years, darling. What? No, we haven't, you buffoon! Conductor, darling, this year we'll be winning the annual Bird Movie Award, as our new movie props will bring in the audiences. These shiny things fell from the sky. They will light our movie sets and fill them with glimmer. Well, this time around, we're also spicing it up with our newest movie props. These hourglass thingies will be the grand jewel in our train heist western. What the what? You no good dirty picnics. You've copied our props. I would never, darling. Clearly, you're the one who took inspiration in my flashy new props. Oh, that does it. Get out of here with ya. I've got a movie to record. Fine by me, darling. But we'll be the ones who win the annual Bird Movie Award. Mark my word. How well you do when you can't get into the reception. <laughs> oh wait, uh, shutting the picnics inside the studio will force them to work harder. <laughs> All right, time to go, owls. Let's make our killer movie. Oh, and uh, receptionist, can you please close off that vent already? I don't want the smell of penguin to come anywhere near my crew. I wanted to ask this reception guy a question, but he hasn't acknowledged me at all. Uh, but now I've been standing here for so long, it'd be awkward to start up a conversation. I really suck at interacting with other birds. Oh, hey, little chirper. They're recording right now, so no one's allowed in. They're only insured for bird staff. Letting you in would be a liability. Don't even think about sneaking inside. Young lady, if I catch you in the studio, you'll receive a ticket so big you'll be in debt for years. I don't 
don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and a disco guy want to compete? We're all birds here, right? Shouldn't we cooperate? I don't know. I guess cooperating is kind of stupid. I guess. Yeah. Just ignore me. Uh, hi there. I'm an express owl. Which really just means I ride the Owl Express that the conductor runs. I need to ride the train to get to work, but the conductor makes unexpected stops all the time. I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. Huh? You want that movie prop they carried in? Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? Uh, yeah, sorry. The conductor has said only birds are allowed past here. And he specifically said no penguins of any kind. I have no idea why. I'm just a passenger on his train. Whatever gets us back on the train faster. Hey, little girl! You should join our DJ Groove's fan club. You get a membership card and everything. It's a real good deal for any movie-going bird. You're no bird, eh? Then what brings you to Dead Bird Studio? Before you answer, you should watch DJ Groove's latest movie. It's real good, and I'm not being paid to say that. Honest. Hey, watch where you're going, buddy. Don't get near DJ Groove's, all right? DJ Groove's means a lot to us, so we gotta protect him. Don't you think of anything, yeah? I'll be watching you, buddy. Eyes on you. Don't tell anyone this, but before DJ Grooves became fascinated by movies, he actually ran a nightclub. I know. Crazy, right? Who would have thought?
Blockbuster. Penguins get ready. Come on, guys and gals. I can feel this take being perfect. Let's go. Action. Magnificent. Stunning. This trophy is everything I desire. On the shelf in my living room. Of course, this big trophy is just a plastic replica. The actual trophy is really tiny. Oh my, oh my, what is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? Oh, no, it's just a little girl. Hello. Oh, wait. You're not a penguin. <laughs> That's good. I could use some non-penguin company around here, as all my penguins are, frankly, terrible actors. Here's the biz. I need your help. I'm on a terrible losing streak, and I just have to win this next annual bird movie award. There's no doubt I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. We need to give you a bird passport, darling. Step right over here. The most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. You have to look flashy and stunning. Step right over here. Let's take the pick. Okay, put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't move. Let's see how the picture turned out. Oh. 
darling, you're not very photogenic, huh? We've got to fix this ugly mugshot up with some old-fashioned photo doctoring. Here, take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish, fashionable young lady. Perfect! Let's slide this picture into your passport and... Here you go! One passport for you. Wonderful, darling! Oh, just wonderful! Meet me at the movie set tomorrow and we'll make you a star! Hey! What do you think you're doing? Oh... You can't just jump in and fiddle with the annual Bard Movie Awards. That's fraud! Fraud! Hey, everyone! We've got a fraudster over here! Oh. Where are my owl guards at? Oh, why are the owls so darn useless? Uh. All right, listen here, lass. You're in big trouble. If you're helping crooked DJ Grooves rig the awards, and I can't take you to jail, then you've got to help me even the score. That's right. You've got to be the star of my movies, too. Here, 
Hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie set tomorrow. You got that? you have here. Sorry for the break and entering. I just really wanted to see what an alien spaceship is like. You know, I expected aliens to be more green and probably with a thirst for flesh. But I guess you aliens come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Hey, if you're looking to explore our planet, you'll need to understand it first. Otherwise, you won't know if you're stepping on grass or quicksand. Don't know how to identify relics? Fear not. Cooking Cade is here. I'll let you have this burger cushion relic for free. You can identify this relic at the podium. If you place them on the podium in the correct order, you might be able to make sense of it. If you're able to identify a relic, something great might happen. You never know, so keep an eye out for relics. I've taught you everything I know about relics. Cooking Cat has served his mission.
Welcome back, lassie. I haven't written a script for my next movie yet, so we're not recording. I'll call for you when the script is ready. Why, hello there, fellow owl. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. As you can tell, I am also an express owl. I do much hooting. From one owl to another, we can share details, yes? What is your uncle's sister's maiden name? kind of uncle's sister's maiden name I would expect from a fellow express owl. Hello, fellow express owl. Do you care about security? I care about security a whole lot. You should not be going around telling information to strangers. It could be a security risk. I can help your daily life become more secure. What is your favorite combination of letters and numbers? I see, I see. <laughs> is also my favorite combination of letters and numbers. Did you notice that there's suddenly a lot of crows on this train? They all gone on the last stop. Speaking of, at which stop did you get on the train? What do you mean you fell from the sky? Did you know that having a pet helps improve self-confidence and relieve stress? Did you also know that pets can have pets? It is true! Unfortunately, us express owls are not allowed to have pets. It is a sacrifice we must make in the name of hooting. But if you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? an interesting name for a pet, even for a pet's pet. Oh, hello, fellow Express Owl. I am stuck on an advanced mathematical and scientific issue. Do you see this advanced formula on the blackboard? I cannot decipher it. Can you decipher the scientific formula for me? What does it say? I see. The solution is... It was obvious. Thank you, fellow Express Owl. And thank you for agreeing to the terms and conditions on the backside of the blackboard. I don't get it. How is this a scientific equation of any kind? It's just scrambled numbers and letters, like those you see on an online form. 
It's really difficult to get settled down on this train with these crows crowding the place. They keep interviewing me about everything I do. Hello, Express Owl. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be a superhero? The most important feature of a superhero is the name. Every superhero needs an intricate name to their fame. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? If entered on an online form with standardized account identification requirements. <laughs> That name is great! I can already imagine it. The mighty... Savior of Justice. I'll just write your answer down here real quick. Us express owls all have parts of our body we're ashamed of. This is why some owls choose to pluck their feathers. Which body part of yours are you the most ashamed of, fellow express owl? <laughs> Oh, poor Express Owl. You shouldn't be ashamed of your... But you'd better get your... Checked out by a doctor. I read online. It could be a sign of bird flu. lens somewhere. Please, don't step on it. I can't move out of the way. I might step on it myself. would murder one of the Express Owls. And I can't believe even more that it's your uncle's sister. What do you have to see for yourself? You're giving me the quiet treatment, eh? That's what a murderer would do. Leave this case to us. We're Kaw, the Crow Agent Watch. We've been monitoring everyone on this train since the last station. 
We'll be searching the entire train for evidence. No one is allowed to go outside of this wagon. What? I can't even walk around in me own train! Oh, how dare ya! Once the clock hits midnight, we'll get off at the station with the murderer in cuffs. Stay here while we investigate further.
done it. We don't know. Uh, we couldn't find any conclusive evidence. We have no idea who murdered this owl. What? So you've done pickle to solve the case? Who's the murderer? Which one are you dead at? The Express Owls did it! It's true. Why? Why murder one of the Express Owls? We were sitting in the lounge playing card games, and we were having so much fun. Everyone enjoyed the peace and quiet of card games. And Robin wouldn't stop chewing with his mouth open. Seriously, who chews with their mouth open? So we stabbed him with a rubber knife to get some peace and quiet. What's a what? Rubber knife? Yeah, can I go now? I'm kind of sore from playing dead for so long. This rubber knife is also a bit uncomfortable. Well, thanks for solving the murder, lassie. Not only did you reveal the murderer, you also revealed that the victim was never harmed. And you gave us intense footage for the movie. What? Oh, you think I'd let a murder happen on my Owl Express? Oh, think again. That was all just a setup for my newest Owl Express movie, Murder on the Owl Express. Oh, you think DJ Picnic will make a movie that's even remotely as good? Ha! I think not. Here, take this thingamajig and get out of here. Welcome to the first day of shooting, darling. We need to transform you into the biggest movie star the bird world has ever seen. You need to become a diva. That's why I've called for a press conference here on our moon set. You need to get out there in front of the cameras and electrify the public, darling. Get them really up and going for your movies. Once you've got them going crazy, come back here and we'll show off our new prop. That's right. We'll unveil our new movie prop to the masses. Hello? Thank you. You call, darling? Looks like it's endorsement time. All you penguins out there know my name, DJ Grooves. And I'm telling you, this young girl here is the next hot thing, guaranteed. Just look as she'll climb up this statue and rescue the poor puppy that has gotten stuck. Right, darling? Look 
at that! She helped the puppy down safe and sound. Too bad it ran off and definitely didn't break into multiple pieces. This is truly a diva I can get behind. Let it be known that this little girl is all about animals. Make sure you join her fan club, DJ Grooves. Out. like it's endorsement time. All you penguins out there know my name, DJ Grooves. And I'm telling you, this young girl here is the next hot thing, guaranteed. Look at how street smart this diva is. She's standing in this sinister alleyway right next to some potential wrongdoers. Danger is her middle name, and she's not afraid to step outside of her comfort zone. Make sure you join her fan club, DJ Grooves, out. is going crazy, darling. Come over here and show off our new stunner. Our new prop. It's endorsement time. All you penguins out there know my name, DJ Grooves. And I'm telling you, this young girl here is the next hot thing, guaranteed. Watch as she beats these hard-boiled card players at their own game on her first try. This game is easy to understand, darling. You just guess which number of cards the other player is holding from 1 to 10. Which card do you think he's holding, darling? Wow! Fantastic! Incredible! The answer is indeed 3! Folks at home, you have just witnessed the stunning intuition of a true star! Make sure you join our fan club, DJ Grooves, out!
Looks like it's endorsement time. Now, darling, I have to mention this. Cooking show hosts have a terrible track record of getting angry and swearing on screen. Try not to use the P word, okay? Don't say P-E-C-K. The conductor is old-fashioned. He throws that word around a lot. It'll get him in trouble someday. Until then, let's keep our show clean. Hello, viewers! Even the biggest celebrities have to eat. And I've got with me the biggest celebrity of them all! Now tell us, darling, what kind of condiments do you like on your tuna sandwiches? <laughs> darling! I mean, I mean, fellow viewers! Look at the mouth on this young girl! She's really something. Oh, shoot! Get out of this endorsement as soon as you can before the old ones watching TV notice what just happened. <laughs> are totally in right now. That's what I've been told to say. So make a purchase, please. Oh, my God. 
obligations lately. You better be. Remember our little deal? Check it out! Those incredibly annoying fire spirits are sitting right there in the middle of my village. Their little dance is creating these incredibly annoying barriers that stop me from getting to parts of my forest. It's almost like they're trying to put an end to me. How adorable. Dispose of 
them. I don't care how you do it, as long as they suffer for entering my domain. <laughs> Anyways, back to work, Trooper. This isn't a vacation, and I'm getting impatient. Hmm. 